Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Today we'll be covering the Dian Guhong Pro. This is a really exciting release. And as you can see, we have many, many versions. So we'll be opening them up and showing you what exactly it is. This is an Axis right here, 09 right here. And this is 2023, 20, 21, 22. So this is like, a timeline of time. Here, we're gonna be like, good, meh, nah. Here, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna be graphing my feelings towards Dian Cubes over time. When Dian first came out in 2009, I don't think anybody knew anything about it. A good starting point would probably be around like here. And then they came out with the Guhong. Now everyone was talking about it and like, dang, it was really good. And then the Zanchi came out. The Zanchi was amazing. So we'll put that over here. But then people often forget that there was a Lingyun and the Lunhui. Those were like kind of meh. So I'm gonna put both of them like down here. And then after the Zanchi, they hit us with the Panchi and it was such a terrible cube. It basically died. It's like as low as possible. So right now, like, you know, Diane's playing with our feelings and it's like, oh yeah, like, oh, it's pretty good. Oh yeah, nice. And then boom, it just like went down, like straight down here. A few years after that, they came out with, I think it was the Xiangyun or the, the Zanchi 2017 or even both. And both of them were so bad. Like, honestly, I'm just gonna put them negative. Like my feelings for these cubes were so bad. And then they came out with the Tangyun in 2019. And that was like, Wow, that's a good cube. Nothing really happened. So I'm just gonna like make a dotted line here and then it just went exploded here. Oh wow, I drew a straight line straight towards the dot. I'm really proud of myself. It went like a super good direction here. And then after came the Tangyun V2 and then there was the Guhang V4. That cube broke a lot. Despite people liking it a lot, it just had a lot of issues. The Zanchi Pro was also like, it was too similar to the Tangyun V2 and the three. You know, I think like my feelings about the cube, they, they went down kind of like this. The Guhang, the Zanchi, and the Tangyun here. One, two, and three. These are the real high points of Dian's three by three releases. This is like, where we're heading right now. It's like not completely tanked, but I don't feel too great about it now. All right, so yeah, let's just keep this on the radar right here and uh, let's show you the cubes. Obviously they've been opened already. Uh, we needed to do some photographs for product listings, but this is the box. It's really simple. It comes with a pamphlet that tells you how to use the feature, but the feature is hand adjustable. So I think even if you didn't have it, you can just figure it out yourself. So the interesting thing that Diane did was they did a 54 millimeter, a 55 and a 56. And it kind of takes us back, back in the day when they had three sizes for the Zanchi, you know, the 50, the 55 and the 57. I got my NAR average with the 55. So that cube definitely made my career. Nowadays, it's kind of weird to have so many versions. Plus there's a new set of maglev versions. So there's actually six cubes in total. I'll give you a rundown here. The spring version 17 bucks and the maglev is 20. And that applies to all of these puzzles. So yeah, that's what we're looking at. So let's take a look at the spring versions first. So in order of size, this is the 54. Oh shoot, it's so light. <laughs> this is the 54. Let's take a look at the pieces. They have the wave design by Diane, which feels really nice. It's also on the two by two and some other cubes they have. It has a bong core on the inside and you can see magnets here when you take this apart. Uh, you have this thing here where you can use to adjust the center travel. You can adjust it by hand. So let's turn the cube first and then play with the adjustment and see how it changes in the cube. So, wow. This is really nice. It's very soft. It feels like the Guhong V4, except it doesn't feel like it's going to bust. Like it's not going to break. People love the Guhong V4. People were getting really good times on it. And, uh, the pieces were too thin to sustain fast turning. This is a pretty good cube. I'm very happy with this. And my hands are on the smaller side. I'm very compatible with the 54 millimeter cube. And the $70 price tag, very fair. It has a bong core and it has a very elegant system that you can adjust the hand. Let's do that now. Okay, counterclockwise, yeah. One. Oh yeah, yeah, it works. Wow. Okay, so there are five settings. I'm on setting three. I think it's pretty chill. 
So I didn't really loop this puzzle, but it feels pretty good. So it's just an out of the box experience. I think the out of the box experience is already great cube. I'm very happy with this. I don't need to lube it very much. I don't need to try that hard to set it up. The corner cutting is quite good. M slices, are, they're a little fast when you start the M slice, but they move, they move pretty well. The uh, magnets are not adjustable and they feel kind of strong, but overall everything put together, this cube gets an A+. This is a cube that I could very well main. Okay. So we have two other cubes. We have the 55 and the 56. My go-to cube right now is a Waylon V9. That's around the 55 mark. So we're going to try that. This cube also moves great. Wow. You know, like after doing all these reviews, I just feel like kind of a negative person sometimes because I'm always like finding some sort of critique, but I really can't like complain about this cube. I, I just stick my hand in the cube, make some adjustments and Boom, you know, and the red logo is really cool. It's very simple. Yeah, man, it's a good cube, okay? Like, all right, and then this is a 56. So I actually picked up the 56 when Damien was opening them. I commented to him that this cube did feel a little big. Okay, so I know for sure I don't really like the 56. It just feels too big and bulky. But these two cubes, I really recommend it. They're comfortable to use. There is not too much friction on the inside. It doesn't feel sharp to turn. And um, that's easier on my hands. I feel like I can cube for a long time with these cubes and not feel any problems. Wow, I am uh, really impressed. So I borrowed these back from Damien. This is the maglev version. The price difference is $3, which I think is very fair because uh, other companies charge more for the difference. I think maglev should cost more, but not like, you know, that much more. So this is the unboxing experience. It's really cool. Like there's that wave cut out in the box. Yeah, the one complaint I do have is the factory loop is annoying. I don't think they should loop the cube like this, but just the wipe takes care of that. So this is the Magla version of the 54. How much faster does it feel? Negligible. Really? Yeah, I don't, I don't feel the difference. That's potentially a problem. So Jesse thinks that the Maglev version feels like there's slightly less friction, but for me, I just like, I don't think I can easily tell the difference. Like if I tried to guess about these cubes, I could very well be wrong. Yeah, I mean, I would likely fail a blind test. Yeah. Yeah, man, I'm liking this. I have not even set it up. Um, this is the 55. I'll keep the components in here. Yeah, so out of the box 55. Like no setup, no nothing, dude. Yeah, uh, I also forgot to wipe this. Yeah, the, the 54 seems the most comfortable for me. And I, I like small cubes, so... I'm thinking like for most people, I think 55 would be the, the best bet. Okay, so then 56, I'm not gonna expect this to be like super good for me, but you know, we're gonna try it anyways. I mean, cube still turns well. Like, it's still obviously a good cube, but I just can't control it as easily.
All right, here we are, guys. I've lived through pretty much the entire Daya and Saga, which is pretty cool. And my last sort of point that I really cared about in Dian 3x3 was the Tangyun V1. It just started going downhill from there. It's 2023 now. This cube right here, I need like some tape. Arts and crafts time, ladies and gentlemen. It's right here, okay? There is not enough space on this page to describe how impressed I am with this cube. Right here, it's going right here. This is the Guhong Pro. It's right there. Uh, if I had to pick a favorite one, I would probably say that right now it's the 54 millimeter spring version. I really can't tell the difference between the spring and the maglev. Like it, it doesn't feel obviously different. So obviously I'm gonna pick the one that's cheaper and simpler. I don't usually say like, hey, go out and buy cubes because it's kind of a conflict of interest. I just give you my honest opinion. But this time I'm going to use, you know, all the, all the street cred I've built up telling you guys that cubes are bad. I'm gonna use it on this cube and I'm going to let you know that I think this cube is great and that you should give it a try. Now I'm not saying like, I don't, I have not had this cube for enough time to know that, oh, maybe it breaks or maybe it has some other issue that we just don't know about because it's so new. But until that happens, I think this is a fantastic cube. Go and get it.